ALSI Laboratory in our institution provides a foundation for learning embedded systems. In 2020, uh, one of our students developed a robot called Disinfecting Rover. During the COVID, we developed this bot along with uh, industrial grade sensors like LIDAR. That helped them to understand uh, the system development. That helped them to get a good placement as well as one of them is doing his higher studies in abroad. Recently, we attended a three-day workshop at IIT Mumbai. We were really excited to know different aspects of a self-balancing robot. We are now handling and value-added course on self-balancing robot to our first-year students. This laboratory, after establishment, we had conducted many programs, especially for school students and as well as our uh, own college students. We are training the students from multidisciplinary ideas. Around more than 1,400 students has been trained. The training uh, ended with some projects. Like Hexapad and uh, automatic seed robot for agriculture. We expanded our laboratory by uh, adding the fab fabrication setup as well as uh, measuring uh, devices. We found more results. Students are doing wonderful projects and they are participating in the various events like hackathons. The projects, it becomes the interdisciplinary one. We are receiving the problem statements from the industries and we are looking towards the sustainability goal for development. One of the key elements is the peer learning. The senior students, they are teaching to the junior students. So the learning atmosphere, that environment has been increased because who are the students coming into this laboratory? They are coming here as a blank line, but after meeting the faculty mentor setup and their senior students who are involved in the projects, we are finding that transformation in their thought process and ideas. One of the major outcome is we are finding the entrepreneurial aspects, placements in n number of listed institutions initiating their startups and their family businesses and some of the students have joined in the IITs. We have developed this project in this uh, Eantra laboratory setup only. Through this uh, winning uh, Eantra Innovation Challenge, we have got uh, Eantra Summer Internship Program. I have come to know the thing called mathematical modeling uh, in there only. Uh, I was able to incorporate mechanical design with these uh, systems and mathematical modeling and programming. I have been incorporated with this uh, Caribbean Innovatives and Startup Company. This lab plays a huge role in my career. I have learned many things from here. The access for this lab was like 24 by 7. The students who are all going out this lab, actually they are the special students in our college. The Entra initiative that we have at the Islamic University of Science and Technology has really helped to boost the ecosystem of innovations, entrepreneurship and startups in the university. Way back, I remember the first lab that we established in 2015. Apparently, that stimulated students to do more projects. As a result, teachers also wanted to do more projects and their project-based culture actually began at that time. And since then, it's kind of uh, been overwhelming in its numbers. We get ELFI lab status since 2018. And from there, my students are working with e Robotics Competition, e Idea Competition. And day by day, they are improving their qualities, their attitudes. Whatever students who passed from this e Robotics Competition training or EYIC training, and they got job in an industry. And industry also giving a feedback, sir, if possible, then next year, if uh, this kind of attitude based students are available, make them available for us. Whenever students are going in an industry, so they are more comfortable to work. Uh, so I can say they are industry ready. They can uh, change over any from one technology to another technology. If they get a project, they can complete that project within time limit. From the e-enter concept, they start help to their juniors. Seniors are giving assignments to the juniors, just like our e-enter fashions. They are uh, taking assignments at every 10 days from the juniors. This mechanism is not only a competition, actually we can say it's uh, one kind of culture. So, e uh, project is uh, making a uh, knowledge economic uh, culture.